Uh, the next piece of equipment that uh, we will describe to you that's very important in an artificial insemination program is called the semen storage tank. Uh, there are various manufacturers of these tanks uh, and they come uh, in different capacities. And what we mean by capacity uh, is, is two things. The capacity or the length of time that it will keep your product frozen within the tank, that's one. And the second the capacity we're talking about is the, the number of straws that each tank can hold as a maximum foot fill. Uh, and usually that's a trade-off. Uh, if you have a longer storage time, a, lo a longer uh, freezer time bef between fills, you have less space on the inside so you're able to keep fewer straws of semen in the tank. Uh, conversely, uh, if, if you have more space on the inside but the less nitrogen, you are only less insulation in the wall is what I mean, you are able to keep that uh, more straws in there uh, but for a shorter period of time. So that's the trade-off that you have. Typically a, a tank that the producer will use or uh, some storage facility will use is a tank that will give you uh, storage of about uh, 1,000 to 1,500 straws that will be kept frozen for a period of, of uh, four months between times that you have to re refill it with liquid nitrogen. Now the liquid nitrogen is the material in the tanks which keeps the semen frozen. The temperature within that tank in the vapors or in the liquid is min minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit or about minus uh, 170 degrees centigrade. One of the uh, questions you probably will ask is uh, how often should you check the tank to see that you have enough nitrogen in the tank to keep the materials frozen and the way uh, that most people will do it is by having a device like this, a, a stick with the measurements on here so that you can dip this into the tank and I'll show you what I what I do here. Open it up. Let it go all the way to the bottom for about 20 seconds. Then remove it. And you can see where the frost line is. So in, in this tank we have about 34 centimeters of nitrogen, which is plenty. Uh, but we never want the nitrogen level to get below 10 centimeters. Uh, if you fall below 10 centimeters, then it starts thawing out uh, at, at higher levels until you thaw out your material. So you always want to use something to check the level and keep it above 10 centimeters. Okay, we are now going to uh, look at the inside of a, a semen tank just to show you uh, some important aspects of it. First, of course, is the cover. And first thing you'll notice are a series of little tabs here. Each of these tabs are connected to a canister. There are six of them, uh, usually on your tanks. Uh, and each one of those canisters contains semen from one sire. Uh, and, and it's important to keep records of what sire is on what, which one of the canisters so that you know what you want to use uh, when you're ready to inseminate a particular dough. We'll take out the plug, made out of styro styrofoam plug for insulation purposes. And now if we look at the tank now on the inside, uh, well, you'll, first thing you'll notice is, of course, the vapors coming up, which is the liquid nitrogen. But on the back side of this wall here, you'll see a white line. That's the, the freeze line. Everything below that vapor white line is as minus 175 degrees centigrade and frozen. Uh, so you want to be able to work on the semen below that line so none of the semen thaws when you're trying to remove it from the tank. And then if we look more closely at a, a canister, and I'll pull it up and keep it below the frost line, you'll see that there are the straws of semen in the canister below the frost line. Okay, now the thing that you want to do is you always want to keep uh, enough nitrogen in the tank so that those remain frozen. Uh, for an uh, extended period of time, so you want to check that tank regularly, as we indicated before, uh, using some device to measure the depth of the nitrogen that you have in the tank. But again, as long as you have <coughs> nitrogen uh, and a frost line like this, your, your semen should remain in, uh, viable uh, indefinitely. Okay, what we're going to do now is demonstrate how to uh, remove a straw of semen from the tank, and you'll notice that the tank has six little bars here representing the canister on the inside. 
and the semen is located uh, in the canister, usually in goblets, and uh, usually each each canister will contain the genetics of semen from one one sire. So what we're going to do now is is take a straw out and show you how we thought uh, for use when we're loading the gun. Okay, he's got it up here, and we're going to reach in there and get a straw out like so, and deposit it into our thaw jar, which is at approximately 37 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? And we leave it in there for about uh, 15 to 30 seconds to thaw. Uh, and it, as you can tell, if you look closely at the thaw jar, this thaw jar is maintaining the temperature at about 37 degrees for us for several minutes, which will allow us to thaw several straws uh, during the process of insemination. Okay, now the semen is thawed. We remove it, dry off all the moisture from the outside of it, like so, and then cut off the plug end, like so. And then we are ready to again load our AI gun, like so, and put the sheath around it. Lock it on and we're ready to use the gun for the insemination.